Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to disable disk write protection in Windows. By default, most devices are given read and write access on devices. However, in the event that something has been set to read only, or otherwise known as given write protection, this tutorial will show you how to unlock it. So please keep in mind you have to be an administrator or have administrative privileges in order to move forward in this tutorial. And like I did go over my previous video, um, I'm going to be going through the example with my main hard drive, which does not have the capability of being given disk write protection. So just keep that in mind, but just you will follow along with the same steps in your tutorial because you will have a drive that needs to be for lack of a better terms, unlocked. So we're going to start by heading over to the start button and we're going to right click on it. And then I'm going to left click on command prompt admin. Select yes in the user account control window. So at this point what you want to do is type in disk part, all one word. Now you want to type in list space disk. So two words here, list disk, lowercase, then hit enter. Like I said before, I only have one drive on this computer and that's why it's showing up as disk zero. I don't have a disk one. So we're going to pretend as though you've selected the disk that you want to disable this protection feature on. So I'm going to type in select disk zero. In your case it will probably not be zero but we're just going to hit enter. So now that we've selected our disk we want to type in attributes space disk space clear read only. Keep in mind there's a space in between attributes disk clear and read only and read only is only one word. So keep that in mind, all lowercase, and make sure you spell it correctly. It's very critical that you do so. And then hit enter on your keyboard. So this is what I was expecting to come up, and it says this part failed to clear disk attributes. But in your case, it should say disk attributes cleared successfully. So please keep that in mind. Your process is going to be a little bit different than mine because I'm not actually performing this on a real drive right now. But this should appear to be different for you guys. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.